I think it's time for you to start talking about what you've learned on Instagram. You have learned quite a lot. Okay. So one of the things that we've learned is there's like a baby crying. <laughs> okay, we've learned so much, you guys. So one thing I love, we love to do mm -hmm. are like cinematic reels. We started our Earth and Tone page like when? Late September? Yeah. A couple late, months ago. Yeah, I don't know what September was. Like we just love doing cinematic reels. Yeah. I love it, but I posted a video of a candle holder, me doing a quick transition stuff. Yeah. yeah like making a candle With holder. With a trending audio. And it got like how many views? I think it's, I think it's like 3,500 views and yeah, 3, like 200 something. plus likes. Yeah, I got so many views. Compared to our other videos, we were just kind of like mind blown. One thing I noticed is. What you notice, baby? What you notice? People love trending songs. Yeah. So when you see a reel and it has that little arrow in the bottom yep. left yeah. corner, that means it's a trending song. At first, we were just using songs from like Spotify. Is and it, we weren't using bad songs. We were no, we were using great cool, music. Cool it's just because it's not trending on Instagram, the People videos, were, yeah, they weren't finding it. Yeah. Instagram's like algorithm yeah. like puts yeah. it on the on their feed I guess on the feed yeah. so and that, also people see that it's trending so now that video becomes trending even more because it's shown as being trendy right eggnog latte mm. I want something like more Christmassy more what <gasps> like gingerbread frosting oh my god you might take it you might take it Okay. Anyways, okay, back to what we were saying. So, another thing that is important are transitions. Anything from like when you're doing a painting video, yeah. for example, and you have an empty canvas and then bam, you have your artwork displayed. Another way would be you're in the middle of changing and then different outfits come up, just like that. Even in that candle video that we did, I had like a wet piece of clay. Mm -hmm. Bam, turn into ceramic. I mean. It was really fun. I think when you did the. <sighs> trying to see. What... I want something firm yet soft. The pillows that you have now are like super firm and it's like, it hurts my neck. I think another thing that we noticed is how not complicated it is to make videos I think when we I think when we first started getting into this we bought this really awesome camera the one we're using right now the really cool microphone and etc etc and it's all amazing stuff but I feel like it's awesome for YouTube yeah Instagram yes it can still work but I think your main goal your your the meat and potatoes are in your iPhone yeah, because it's Using it's that candid. Using HD 60? 4K 60. If you have the, <laughs> if you have an iPhone that has the capability of being 4K 60, you just toggle the settings and you have a really awesome looking image, off off the you know off the just off the phone. You don't have to really yeah. do much. I don't know where it's at. No. Okay, so last tip: step by step videos. People love to see step-by-step -step videos they like to see behind the scenes if you're painting something they like to see when you're painting it how you're doing it if you're refurbishing something they like to see how you're sanding it down they just like to see all of those steps versus like an end result that's what we learned because whenever we have like videos or pictures of an end result yeah people like it but it's nothing compared to when they see like, oh, like she's in there, like actually getting her hands dirty and getting the clay in her hands and then bam, it turned into art. Okay, so remember, those are the four tips. So first, audio, trending songs always come in handy. Two, transitions, you want to have them engaged, bam, bam, bam. And then three, the convenience of an iPhone. I mean, that's awesome. You have it right in your back pocket. And then last, step by step, people love educating videos, seeing behind the scenes, seeing how you get from A to B, and there you go.
four tips make a really good reel. Let's see if we can achieve that. <laughs>